Welcome to the Interested and Interesting Person Project. Let's talk about sentence combining and sentence length variation. It's a two for one this time. Precisely when do we have to combine sentences? Well, we have to combine sentences when we read a bunch of little tiny sentences that just don't flow together. I have a storehouse of crummy little sentences that we could check out and combine. Will you join me? I promise you this will be more painful than you can possibly imagine! Children were playing in the street on Mission Street yesterday afternoon. I told you it would be painful. Please don't repeat words like that. It hurts when I see them. It's the street. And then there was another street. It had still. They were not paying attention to the traffic. A red Mercedes nearly hit one of them. No one was hurt, but the female driver of the Mercedes was shaken up after the incident. Mercedes, 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 it's hurting to my brain. First, don't be surprised if you look at your paper and find that you have written a series of terrible little sentences that repeat the same words. Don't worry, we all do it. The great writer Anne Lamott says that we are filled with essay first drafts. I said essay first drafts because I'm trying to be decorous. She did not use that word, but we are filled with essay first drafts. How about this? You push pause right now and move your little finger on the little mover of you know, the video, and go backwards to the text that I read. You can see it sitting there, and you'll click pause right on it, and you could have yourself a little moment of exercise where you try to combine all of those little sentences into a single sentence. I confess I was unable to do it exactly, but I do have an approach that combines many of those sentences and then gives us an opportunity to discuss the virtues of sentence length variation. Did you do it? Did you combine those sentences so that they form perhaps one or two better sentences? You are a good student. Let's take a peek at the original train wreck. Children were playing in the street on Mission Street. Ugh. <laughs> Yesterday afternoon, they were not paying attention to the traffic. A red Mercedes nearly hit one of them. No one was hurt, but the female driver of the Mercedes was shaken up after the incident. You should be feeling only a little bit nauseous at this juncture. And now, let's have a peeky poo at perhaps a tighter version that conveys, hopefully, all of the same ideas in a smoother fashion that is easier to read. The driver of a red Mercedes was shaken yesterday afternoon when she nearly missed hitting one of the children playing in the middle of Mission Street. No one was injured. Hello. The first version is 44 words long. The second version is 30 words long. All of the needful information is conveyed in a much smoother way. And as promised, that improved version gives us an opportunity to talk about how sentence variation brings liveliness, life, to your writing. The first part of that second sentence has 26 words in it. It's followed by a four-word sentence. And what that does rhythmically to the brains of humans, it agitates them in a good way. It's like candy for our synapses. 
when you can do something like that, give it a try. So to recap about sentence combining, get rid of useless words, words that you've repeated, words where the ideas have already been stated in different ways. Notice that in the revised version, we did not need the word woman, we had a pronoun. So we knew the context. So go back to, you know, just start this video up again because it's a concept that takes some practice. And then as you revise your own work, look through it, especially for repeated words like street. I can't remember what the other ones were, but they were in there, go get them. Go get them. If you see two words that are too close together, we probably don't need one of them. I mean, that's a principle. Are you digging what I'm saying? And then about sentence length variation, if you can, if you have encountered a longer sentence, follow it with a short one. That's it. If you can go from, what was it? 26 and then four? That's kind of sweet. Interested and Interesting Person Project is brought to you by Chris Risley. That's me.